Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today we are going to set our automatic file history backup in Windows 10. First thing we need to do is go into backup settings. Next, we want to select the location of our backups. So in my example, I'm going to save it in my second SSD, which is inside my computer. But feel free to use an external hard drive or a flash drive as well. Next, we have the automatic backup my files is on. I'm going into more options. So in more options, this is where we set the frequency and how long we keep our backups, as well as how to exclude and add folders to backup. So for the frequency, I'm just gonna go for every hour, which is the default. And for keeping the backups, I'm just gonna do until space is needed. It's really up to you, depending on your needs. Keep in mind though that this will not back up your programs, like or video game programs, anything like that. It's just specifically going to back up folders and files. So looking at this, it's pretty much all my files have been pre-selected, but it doesn't include any programs, like I said. Just keep that in mind. That is not a, this is not a system image. So if you wanted to add, all you have to do is add a folder under backup these folders. So looks like everything's pre-selected, so I won't be able to add anything right now. But what we can do is I can show you how to exclude a, a folder. So under exclude these folders, I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to exclude 3D objects folder. This is an example. Choose this folder. It's going to refresh. And if you scroll down, you're going to see it to confirm. There you go. Pretty awesome stuff. So it is that simple. So let's actually do a backup right now just so you can see. So if I was going to back up my system, I just click backup now. So it's going to back up your data. So the first backup is usually a lot longer, but once, you know, it just has to update the file so it's a lot faster um, every time you back up. Okay. So once the backup is complete, all we got to do is so I can you can see here that we have the backup time and the date and the size of the backup and how much space is left in your backup location. So pretty neat stuff, pretty simple. So let me go into this PC and let me show you a file that's inside the backup. Think of it like a flash drive. So I'm just going to double click to go inside. I'm going to go into the computer's user profile. Users, here you go. So what I'm saying is basically you can find um, files that you've backed up if uh, you know where to look. You could also just do a search within. It's a lot easier. So let me show you an actual photo that was saved. Right here. Pretty awesome stuff. So that's one way of accessing your backup files. Um, well, the, let me show you the official way of uh, re restoring your files that you have on backup. Close that. So let's start again. So we go into backup settings. So if you wanted to restore the official way, you go into more options. Scroll down. And then you can go to restore files from a current backup. You can also use this on a freshly installed Windows 10 and you'll be able to access your files. So here are all the files. And then here is the green button that you need once you select your file. In this example, let me just 
select all and then you just press this green button and it will restore all your files so it's pretty sweet stuff like I said Microsoft has done an awesome job really like the way this backup has been set up so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching take it easy